More money, more problems is the title of this video. More money, more problems. Oftentimes, a lot of people say with well, JT, if I could just be rich, have more money, I'll cut out a lot of these problems. The Bible says money solves everything. Yeah, the Bible do say that. You get no disagreement from me on that. But the Bible also says the love of money is the root of all evil. Catch that one word that make it stick out. The love of money. Many people quote this scripture wrong. They say, yeah, man, the Bible say money is the root of all evil. That's not what the Bible says. It's the love of money. Ain't nothing wrong with having the money, but don't let the money have you. The Bible also say you can't serve two masters. You're going to love one, hate the other. So many people thought if they got the bigger house, they would be better off. I'm not talking about everybody. Just feel me in this video. Just feel me. I'm reminded of a co-worker I used to work with who went from a three-bedroom house paid for to a five-bedroom house. Big five-bedroom house. The bigger the house, the bigger the bills came. When he got the house at work, he always complained about the bills. Man, when I was in my three-bedroom, ain't no way my electric bill was four, five hundred dollars a month. I got this two-story. Seemed like I can't never cool the top off like I want in the summertime. The AC units keep going out. I miss my window units. See, sometimes we have to realize did we already have it made? Now, ain't nothing wrong with having nice things, once again. Ain't nothing, wrong, ain't nothing wrong with wanting more. But you have to realize the situation you're in. The money you really make it. See, so many people base their lifestyle off of how somebody else is living. And I want that house like what she got. I want them cars like what he got. And they're in a whole other category when it comes to money. And you trying to live up here when you making right here. Now you done got in debt. You done got in so much of a bind because you want it to be like somebody else. Hmm. When you was really already all right, you had the house paid off. But then you started over. Hmm. Sometimes less is best. Somebody catch that. I've noticed something about a lot of rich people. They're never satisfied. I'm not talking about all that I know, and I know a lot of them. Some of them are cool. They, they, where they at, they don't want to go no more. But see, it's a difference between being rich and being wealthy. See, people that's wealthy, as the Bible said, a good man leaves his, what, family inheritance. There are some people that's so wealthy that they kids, they kids, kids, they kids, 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 ain't gonna never have nothing to worry about when it comes to money. That's wealth. When you don't, when you not only look up, look out for you and your family, your family that's coming generation after generation. That's wealth. Wealthy people know how to pay themselves, keep for themselves. That's the difference. And some of us out here, a lot of a lot of people in my race are living from paycheck to paycheck. Scrambling, scrubbing, trying to make it just to the next week or two. Adding up bills, trying to figure out what I'm gonna have left up. How can I do this? How can I do that? Somebody gonna say amen, because they're not right now. But the Bible told us to be like the lender and not the borrower. More money, more problems. Even with churches, bigger churches, bigger problems. More money, more money, more money. Once again, there's nothing wrong with money if you don't have the love of it. 
But when you think about a lot of people that, that, that I always say, if I just had more money, I know a lot of people that got the more money and then they start having more problems than they had before they had the more money. And I'll leave you with that. Shalom.